Hello all, my name is Gabriel, Gabriel Gurula. I'm going to do this quick tutorial super fast. I'm going to try and do it in less than 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Okay, I'm going to be using the, temp the pen tool. I'm using Photoshop CS5. Click the letter P on your keyboard. This is the pen tool. I've already done most of the the outline here. So, if you don't know how to use the pen tool, make sure you practice a little bit. You're going to click, drag, click, drag, click, drag. You can use it. I'm on a Mac. Use the command. And you can drag the point or the node. If you mess up, you can reposition it. So I'm going to do this real quick. Click, drag, click, drag, click, drag. That music that's playing is just a random uh, iTunes channel, so. Don't get upset at my choice of music. What I normally try to do is I draw my lines inside inside the shape or object instead of outside. Okay. So you can cr you can create a hard edge by just clicking without dragging but if you want to click and drag you create a a bend you can bend the node and you can also close it off by clicking the alt key on the Mac see it'll create a hard edge just practice your pen tool Okay, that's closed there. You can recheck. Click your command on your keyboard. Okay. You can also select your pencil here on the tool bar. Okay. So you're going to pull up your paths, you're going to command, it might be control on the windows, but you click on the icon and it's going to select it. This is a selection in Photoshop. I'm going to go to select. Feather, modify, feather. I'm going to do about point, point four. It's going to soften the edge. Hit OK. Let me pull up your layers palette. Just hit Command or Control J. It's going to duplicate the selection. You can see here. Selected just my object or my the person. By the way, I shot this in. It's it's fairly simple. I didn't even shoot it at a studio. We just put a white white cloth, and then uh, there was one light back here. And a salt box. Okay, so I'm cre create an empty or a blank layer. I'm going to fill it with um, fill. Go to edit fill. Foreground color. This is the background. Foreground. 100% white.
Come on, come on, come on. There we go. So, so it's a soft edge here. It's not hard. But I like to use the pen tool. I mean, it didn't have any hair, so it was easy just to create, you know, the lines of the pen tool. Okay. I'm going to save this. I'm going to create a snapshot. If you mess up, you can always come back to, to the snapshot. Okay, I'm going to make this like a panoramic. Fill, fill it again with white. Now I'm going to downsize it just for this tutorial, so we can we can work a little bit faster. Should have done that before I started. Okay. I'm going to center my subject. Okay. I've pre selected um, images like dust particles, nebula, the lens flare. So I'm just going to copy those, paste them under my subject. Okay, you just select all, Control A, Apple A, Control C or Apple C to copy and paste. And just do that with all of them, Control C or Apple C to copy. Control V or Apple v, Apple V to paste. Mm. Well, these are not the same size, so you have to downsize them. Okay, so we'll edit. Um, free transform Apple T or Command T. Just zoom out, click the shift and the alt. Can I size it how you want it? Size it. So it's Apple T, right? Control T. And to constrain it, hit the shift, the shift on your keyboard, and then grab grab one of the the edges. Downsize it. Okay, one more. I'm just dragging them up so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm trying to go a little faster here. I'm going to hide these. I'm going to drag it above. Blending mode of screen.
basically allows you to view the white and hides the black. Try the lens flare. Okay, I'm gonna put a filter on this blur, Gaussian blur. duplicate this layer. I'm just based this is basically random um, experimenting. I'm not sure what I'm gonna kind of have a, in mind what I'm gonna what the out finished product is gonna be but most of this I'm just kind of experimenting so bear with me. I'm resizing all these layers. Now the cool thing, <clears throat> excuse me, the cool thing about about my path channel I had uh, traced, I can always reselect it. Oh, but I moved them. If you move them, you can always go to the uh, marquee tool. Just realign it. Yeah, there you go. Just check another ad. Perfect. Okay, so for example, I use the masks in most of my projects. To add a mask to it. My layer. Okay. So what I want to do is reverse this to make him black and the background white. Just control I or Apple I. And it's masking, it's revealing what's in white and masking what's in black. So obviously a, a flare is gonna bleed over to him. So I'm going to use the gradient tool, the letter G on your keyboard. I'm going to use the, use the standard white to transparent. Now I'm going to paint white on black to reveal. I'm going to try to run through this quickly. You can always rewind it if you have questions. So here's your opacity. You can drop, oops, drop it down. Alright, that looks, that looks kind of cool. 